Good evening, Sumo fans, and welcome. Uh, after taking a day off yesterday, we're back here on day seven. It is Saturday the 14th, and uh, lots of fun Sumo action to talk about in today's video. Put my drink over there, Get have that ready if I need it. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, share my screen here. All right. Hopefully you're caught up on the day seven matches. Spoilers, of course, if you're not, because we are going to talk about everything that happened on day seven at the Koku Geekon. And we're going to start with any absent Rikshi. Uh, no, uh, day five, Ono Show pulled out down in Jurio, but we haven't had anybody since day three pull out of the top division. Of course, we have no Terano Fuji this tournament, no Takake Show. Uh, alrighty. And let's start uh, with the, uh, well, oh no, we can't do that yet. Let's start with the matches, but we'll start down in Jurio. Aoyama is a little concerning here now. He's at one and six, the veteran uh, of many, many uh, Basho in the top division. And Aseke Wake at one point in his career uh, is uh, not doing well at uh, his current rank. And uh, he is in danger of demotion down to the third tier division. At Jurio 13, he's only had one win. He it, One more loss is okay, but uh, two more losses means a losing record and almost certain demotion to Makshita. So, uh, yeah. It, 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 what a... Mm, <laughs> I don't like to speculate, but I think that will mean retirement. I think he will say, okay, uh, if I can't compete as a sekitori, you know, as a salaried wrestler, and I'm going to lose my privileges and, you know, my rank and everything, and theoretically even lose his salary by going down to the third tier division, uh, he would decide to retire. But, uh, you know, it, it doesn't always go that way. So we'll just have to see what he decides. And who knows, maybe he'll turn things around and get a kachikoshi. Uh, I had the Asakoru versus Kayo match on the channel because they were both one loss Rikshi going into this day seven matchup, and Asakoru got the win. Uh, I also, of course, put up the Takeda Fuji match. Uh, so you can go over and watch that on the Patreon page. Uh, he is undefeated still at 7 0. He beat Surugisho today, looking very good. And then as we go through, we can see some of the other ones. The other match I put up was Hakuoho. I know he's a popular Rikshi. He got a win today over Shimano Umi, who's having a, you know a, an equally bad tournament as Aoyama. Now one in six. Dayamami now one in six here, but uh Shimano Umi losing to Hakuoho. Jurio to Shishi improving to five and two. So Shishi from the uh the looks of things should get promoted up to the top division if he can get Kachikoshi at J2. He, of course, is from Ukraine, and uh, his is this his highest career rank? Yeah, this is the highest he's ever been, Jurio 2. And uh, so never been in the top division before. So we're, we're rooting for him to make the leap up to the Makuchi division. All righty, and the very bottom of the Jurio, uh, the final matches of the day, Toki Hayate, also at J2 but just got his third win to go three and four. And Chiyoshoma is the other man undefeated at seven and zero. Now Chiyoshoma should be familiar to many of you. He's been in the top division most of the past year. So he's a Mongolian. Uh, and let's see. Yeah. I mean, Oh no, he was in Jurio in May. Okay. I take that back. He's mostly been in Jurio, but he popped up into the Maiga Shira, but had to sit out. Okay. And then he came back, was able to get five wins, but it obviously wasn't enough to keep him in the top division. I thought he'd been in, because he's been as high as Maigashira 2 in his career. So mostly he was uh, Maigashira last year in 2023. Here he is at 15, 12, 13, 16, 11. Uh, but he has been down in Jurio for the better part of 2024. All right. But looks like he will make the leap up. He obviously only needs one more win because he's ranked at Jurio 1. So we'll keep an eye on that matchup. Okay, let's get into the Makuchi, the top division matches for day seven. Ryu Din started off with a win to go five and two over Kitanowaka. Nishiki, Nishikigi also went to five and two. 
They're beating up on Onokatsu. I, I thought maybe he'd be one of those Jurio guys that comes up and just has a lot of momentum and, and gets his Kachikoshi, gets eight wins, nine wins. But uh, he is finding it tough in the top division, as many Jurio wrestlers do when they first move up. So at Maegashiro 14, at a 2-5, and five, it's very likely he's going to get demoted right back down to Jurio. But we'll see if he can turn things around and start to get some wins. Okto Fuji went to 5-2 and two by beating Takata Fuji. Now, these are the guys that were 4-2 and two and won today. There were 15 Rikshi at 4-2 and two going into Day 7. So we'll see how many are at five and two, a bunch of them. You know, Takata Fuji was one of them. He's now four and three. Uh, so, yeah, that was a very common record going into today's uh, matchups. Nishiki Fuji beat Kim Bozon. Sadanoumi, four and three by beating Shirokuma. Uh, Takiyasu was a four and two wrestler that won. He beat Roga. Tamawashi goes to three and four with a win over Bushozon. He was the four and two that lost. Oshoma, four and two, that won to go to five and two over Kageyaki, who's only one and six. Wakitaki Kage went to five and two by beating up on Ichi Yamamoto. Uh, Gonoyama versus Midori Fuji. Gonoyama got the win. They're both now three and four. Endo, four and two, winning to go to five and two at M8, beating up Meisei. Chirana Umi, now five and two, beating Shonana Umi, one and six. So he's having a hard time. Mitakeyumi only Mitakeyumi only his second win of the tournament. He beat Ura today, who's now four and three. Atami Fuji beat Tobizaru to go to three and four. Uh, Daisho. Now we're into the top ranks final six matches of the day. Uh, the Sanyaku Komasubi Daisho got a win four and three over Takanosho. Who, let's face it, after that spectacular performance in uh, July, is just not following it up with another good basho here. He's really struggling at Maigashira 1. Kirishima stays on the leaderboard, one behind Ono Sato at 6-1 and one by beating Koto Shoho. Hirada Umi was 4-2, and two, but he couldn't get the win over the leader, Sekiwake Ono Sato. So he's now 4-3, and three. Ono Sato undefeated at 7-0. and We'll go for his Kachikoshi tomorrow on day 8. Oho, continuing his winning ways, now has won three in a row. He beat a Sekewake today. He beat Abi, who's 2-5. and five. Oho now 4-3 and three after beating both Ozeki back-to-back -back on days 5 and 6. Oshoru finally uh, got a win. Not finally, but, uh, you know, he was he's had some stumbles, but got a win today. A uh, very... Uh, they call it a Denshamichi, uh, a, a railroad win, like you just straight out on a rail. Uh, no competition from Shodai today for the Ozeki. So Shodai was a 4-2 and two that lost to go to 4-3, and three, and Hoshoru improves to 3-4. and four. And then the final match of the day, kind of an upset. Uh, Wakamoto Haru is a very tough opponent, but he's you know ranked at M3, and Ozeki Koto Zakura was in the one-loss group but loses today in the final match of the day. So he's now 5-2. and two. Wakamoto Haru improves to 5-2. and two. And uh, that was the final match of the day. So let's look at the leaderboard before we look at day 8 matchups. So all alone, Onosato at 7-0. and oh. Then Kirishima, the only one-loss Rikshi. Of course, these two haven't fought each other yet. Uh, that'll happen probably like Wednesday or Thursday next week would be my guess. Then we have, uh, ooh, how many? How many got their win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them got a win to maintain their two losses, and Koto Zakura got a loss to go down to two losses. So 10 men, uh, two off the pace. Takayasu, Ryuden, Nishikigi, Hokuto Fuji, Oshoma, Endo, Chirana Umi, Wakatake Kage, Wakamoto Haru, and Koto Zakura all at five and two. So quite a leaderboard down uh, in the top division, rather. And then a much simpler leaderboard down in Jurio. Chiyoshoma and Takeda Fuji undefeated, uh, tied. And then Asakoru all alone at one loss behind the two of them. Has he fought either of them yet? Let's see. Do, 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 do. No, but he's got Takeda Fuji tomorrow. That'll definitely be on the channel, on the Patreon page. So that's a fun matchup for tomorrow. Hasn't fought Chiyoshoma yet, which is not surprising because he's a Jurio 8 and Chiyoshoma's a Jurio 1. Uh, so they'll fight each other eventually if he keeps winning. 
Uh, let's see. Down in, well, here is the third tier division. We got three guys undefeated. And these guys are undefeated as well. They just haven't fought their fourth match yet. And I wanted to see if down in the fifth tier, if Enho won. He did. All right. So he is at 4-0. and And these are the kind of guys above him that would maybe get promoted up uh, to the Sandamne ahead of him. But if either of them lose and he can keep winning, especially if he goes seven and zero, uh, he will probably get promoted all the way up to Sandamne for the next tournament in November. So that's good progress for him. Okay, let's look at what's happening on day eight, the middle Sunday, Nakabi, and we'll start down in Jurio. Let's see what we got, Aoyama. Trying to get some wins up against Fuji Seun. Five and two. Kayo is against Dai Shoho. And then, like I said, this is a really fun matchup. Asakoryu, six and one against Takeda Fuji, seven and oh. Uh, what else we got? Haku Oho against Shishi. That's a fun matchup. And <laughs> Chiyoshoma, seven and oh, going for Kachikoshi against one and six Dayamami. You got to think he's going to win that match, but you never know. Anything can happen on any day, right? So that's Jurio for tomorrow. I'll have at least three of those matches for you probably on the channel. Uh, okay, going up to the top division, Makuchi action for day eight. Hokuto Fuji takes on Nishiki Fuji. Let's see. Monokatsu, who's on my team, uh, is taking on Bushozan. The White Bear, Shirokuma, taking on Kimbozan. Two of the oldest guys in the top division, Sadanomi taking on Takara Fuji, both men forward and three. Takiyasu taking on Kagiyaki. Kagiyaki is just struggling. One and six. Ryu Den against Roga. Wakataki Kage has Tamawashi. I'll probably put that one up on the Patreon page. Ju -ju 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 -ju. Endo, Shonana Umi. Atami Fuji has Koto Shoho. Oho, trying to keep up the winning ways, has Tobi Zaru who's struggling a bit at Maigashira 1 at 2 and 5. So is uh, the other Maigashira 1, Takanosho, also 2 and 5. He has Komosubi Hirado Umi tomorrow. The other Komosubi Daisho has Abi. Kirishima takes on Ura, and that should be a fun one. Onosato has the former Ozeki Matake Umi. Shodai takes on Koto Zakura in the penultimate match, and then the final match of the day, Wakamoto Haru, fresh off that Ozeki win over Koto Zakura. Has another Ozeki here on day eight in Hoshoru in the final match of the day. All righty. So some good stuff to look forward to on day eight. Uh, I wanted to just remind some people how to watch sumo. So uh, I haven't tried any of these because I live in Japan and don't need to. But let me know if you've tried this Jamie TV. Uh, they were talking a lot about it over here on... Uh, uh, and back in May here on uh, tachii.org. And he said it's mostly for North Americans. So if you're in Europe or somewhere else and you're watching me, uh, it's perhaps not available. I don't know. But uh, if you're in North America and you've tried it, uh, let me know how it's working uh, and if you like it. So that's one way to watch. Of course, on the middle Sunday on day eight, NHK, as they're promoting right here at the top of their NHK World uh, page, uh, Always come on around 5 o'clock Japan time and stream live for one hour. Now, again, I know NHK aren't watching this video, but NHK, why? Why don't you just stream the whole two hours of the top division? Are you really giving away something so valuable and so precious that you can't do the whole two hours? You, you've got the English play-by-play -play guy there. It's like Ross Mihara or Murray Johnson or Raja Pradhan. I mean, one of them is, is doing the whole two hours. So why not just stream the whole two hours? Uh, I don't know why they, they cut it down to only one hour. But if you want to watch some live sumo and, you know, stay up really late or get up really early, depending on where you live in the world, uh, it is available. It's also available on the final, I want to say Saturday and Sunday, day 14 and 15, but at least the final Sunday they also stream live. Maybe it's just all three Sundays, uh, day one, day eight, day 15. But anyway... Uh, and then, of course, over there on the NHK World uh, Japan, uh, you know, you can watch highlights. They they put their own highlight package together. The problem is, is they're a day behind. 
So uh, that here's 27 minutes of highlights, which is great. It's every single match in quick succession with English. But this got put up about five hours ago. Um, so they put it up and, uh, yeah, and then they don't like now is day seven, day seven finished at 6 PM. It's now 9 30 PM. So it's three and a half hours since the end. And it won't go up until tomorrow, Japan time at around three or four in the afternoon. So they kind of have a day delay on their highlights, uh, which is the annoying thing. I think they also have it here sometimes. Uh, where they have it, I think, live on their website, maybe, as opposed to their YouTube channel, where you can just kind of play it anytime you want. Like, it it comes on at 4.30, and you have to watch it at 4.30 for a half an hour, and then it comes out again at 8.30. Now, this is UTC. This is not Japan time. I, I don't know what that, I don't know if that's New York or London. I don't know what time that is. But anyway, you can check this out and see how it works for you. Um and that is another way to watch Sumo if you're not joining my Patreon. Uh, and it's free, but there's a delay, right? Okay, over uh, for a dollar, <laughs> for a dollar a month, you can join the Patreon page and get the matches. Here are the ones I put up for day seven. Koto Zakura is on there. Hoshoru, I love this Hoshoru thumbnail. Looks like he's doing Gangam style. Uh, Abi, uh, the Onosato match. Here is Kirishima. Daisho, and then I had three Jurio matches, the Hakuoho match, the Takeda Fuji match, and the Asakoru match. So that was my day seven coverage over on Patreon. So if you feel like it, come on over and join us over there. I've had 345 people sign up, so that's great. And uh, I welcome you all over there. All right, in the channel contest, we have a eight-way tie for first place. Uh, all of these people have 32 points. Uh, all of them have picked some of the best achievers in their categories. Although uh, sometimes you could pick, like here you could pick, uh, no, no, I guess you don't. Like here you could pick Hokuto Fuji or Takayasu. Uh, Koto Zakura is pretty much the only choice right now in that part. But, you know, if you pick Kirishima, Onosato, it's only one match different right now. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm way down, uh, I want to say in the 200s. Let's see, let's see, eight. Am I around eight? No, maybe I am seven. Yeah, here I am. So seventh place, but 226 people are better than me right now. Koto Zakura, Ono Sato is on my team. Oho, who's been getting wins. Wakitaka Kage, Roga. And I picked Ono Katsu. That's probably the one that might be costing me a little bit. If I'd gone with Takiyasu, Papiyasu, see, I'd have three more wins. And right now I'd be at 29 points, which would put me up at fourth place. You know, so not, not terrible, but still way off the lead of these guys. Gumby, uh, Quimby, JV, Ravin, Ian, Artrimus, Dr. Strange Dog, and Ollie M all have made good choices. And at least right now they're on top of the leaderboard for the channel contest. Tomorrow on day eight, I plan on... Uh, Sending out, well, I'm going to pick two channel members here on YouTube, the people that have stuck around as channel members here on YouTube, and send you some prizes. I've got some good prizes I can still send out. I got caught up on all my old prizes. As you know, if you watch that video, I have some uh, perhaps uh, free gift cards. Oh, no. Hey, Siri, stop. Sorry if that activated yours. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I pick two people at random that have signed up to support the channel here on YouTube and I send them stuff or I'll buy you a gift card. Uh, and if, if you don't even want a gift card for Big Sumo Fan, I'm happy to get you one for Amazon. Uh, that's kind of the extent to what I can do. Uh, but a lot of people enjoy getting a little package from Japan from me. And uh, I sent out some uh, last week that got me all caught up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope those people, uh, what was it, Francis, Tom, and Ben, uh, all get those packages soon and uh, enjoy the uh, prizes I sent. Uh, sometimes they kind of know what they're getting because I ask them kind of what they want, or sometimes it's like, surprise me, or I like these guys, and they don't know exactly what I'm going to send them. So I hope it's fun when you open it and you see what you get. 
So two people from the YouTube channel membership, and then I'll do the same thing for the Patreon people, uh, probably closer to the end. And remember, Monday, uh, and I'll tell you about this tomorrow, Monday morning, Japan time, national holiday, I want to do a live stream. So maybe, uh, maybe, should I do the sumo show as a live stream? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'll have details about that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to time it so it's good for Europe and North America. And if you're free on your Sunday, it'll be your, most of your Sundays. I'll get up early on Monday because I have the day off. It is respect for the aged day and I am aged. So please respect me. Uh, we'll do a live stream and maybe we'll just play some trivia or uh, you can just ask questions or we'll talk about the first week of the bus show and just have some fun for half an hour, 45 minutes. And uh, you can come and join in on that. And I'll probably open that up to everybody. You don't have to be a member of anything. Just if you want to come along, come along. And I put the links up on Twitter. So follow me over there. All the links for anything you might need are down in the description box of this video. And a link to check your channel contest, link for Patreon, link for Twitter, all that stuff down in the description. Okay, uh, I'll wrap it up now. Thank you so much. Okonomi says, I hope you're having a good weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow on day eight. Take care. Peace.